said she my eye, but I don't know her how to look her up. I know that I'm rich, but I can help it, bitch. I'm hood as fuck. I've been on these bitches next so long, sometimes I fucking stuck. I can put you in my bed. You might wish me dead tomorrow. Bitches be on dick today, sing every word of her tomorrow. Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Zari, and if you're returning, hey bestie, hey. So it's a little bit after midnight and I'm starting another vlog. This is not going to be a weekly vlog. It's definitely going to be like a 48 hours in my life or 72. I'm not really sure how many, but it's going to be something in my life. So welcome to another vlog, y'all. So what I'm finna to do right now is basically clean up because I kind of stay up late. I told y'all this before. I just stay up late and I work on content. So last night I turned in all of my content for my agency. So I stayed up last night and did that. So tonight I had to stay up and do some wigs because I was a little bit behind on my wig clap. So I, this company, they was worrying me. Like they started calling me on Instagram. Why are you calling me on Instagram? And they was like, hi, is our video done? Like, literally, I just got y'all a wig a week ago, but let me just do the video so y'all can leave me alone. So I just caught up on wig content. And this is a glueless wig. I don't know why it took me over an hour to, like, get this wig on, style it how I liked it. It just was sitting up on top of my head. And I just, no. Tomorrow, I'm going to ask my sister-in-law if she can give me, like, a little braid down. Because she can braid either my sister-in-law or my mother-in-law. Maybe my sister-in-law, because she lives only like five minutes away. And my mother-in-law lives like 30 minutes away. So I'll probably just go with my sister-in-law, see if she can give me like a braid down. Because I'm tired of my little big fat braids that be under my wigs. But welcome to another vlog. I don't want to rent too much. I'm going to show y'all what my little mess is looking like. I have a huge mess up here. Like, girl, we need to get it together. I'm going to show y'all my little mess. And then we're going to go ahead and clean up. We're going to do our little nighttime routine. I'm always up late, but like if I'm done, like doing content for the night by one is a good night it's a good night now the thing i gotta do is just clean up up here and get in the shower and get in the bed by two always the goal two o'clock oh i still gotta iron see their work clothes okay enough ranting let me show y'all there's me hi y'all first thing i got these flat irons out this is hair because i cut like some little layers into this week because i just did not like how it was looking like i was hating it so i did like some little layers i got hair over there on my chair on the floor everywhere i got caught up with some of my girlies youtube videos so i was watching youtube while i was doing that I got makeup out i got a drink like it's just a mess so let's clean this stuff up and then we can start with our nighttime routine if I had to buy, I would not Okay, y'all, this is my $5 bookshelf that I got from a yard sale. And I told my husband I would definitely be able to make something out of nothing because it was leaning, it was wobbling, it was falling apart. We didn't, you know, hit it with a hammer a couple of times, tried to, like, bring it back to life. Oh, cute. And then on top, I just got my tote bag, my Mark Jacobs bag, and then my little coach bag. And I think it came out so cute. Let me know what y'all think. It's really hard to make friends as an adult. And I think when you look up for friends as an adult, what you need to look for is people with the same like mindset as you and people who have the same goals and aspirations as you. It's just people who connect in general with you because Lex is also the same age as me. She has a kid, she has a husband, and they live like the military lifestyle. So just on all levels, all around the board, we mesh like this. So, in a cut with my twin, we be vibing. I'm going to text you tomorrow and see what you're doing because, like, I... <sighs> come to the city, Lex. Come to the city. Leave the country for a minute. Come to the city. Let's run some errands. Let's go to Starbucks. I don't know. Let's just get out the house. We're supposed to be doing something with our kids. And we literally need to get on our planning. Like, ASAP. Ooh, maybe tomorrow we can go to the zoo. I need to check the weather. I don't know. I'm going to head downstairs. I While I'm thinking about it, let me show y'all what Lex got me. Lex took it up on herself to get me this custom sign made. Y'all, it says Real Mommy TV X2. And it's so freaking big. And so, at first, I was going to, like, try to do, like, the pompous around it with, like, the sign in the middle. But when I got it, I was like, mm -mm, this sign too big. So, I quickly learned that when people do the pompous wall or the pompous decor with the, le with the neon sign in the middle, they get a mini neon sign. This thing so big, y'all. Like, look at it compared to my head. It's huge. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it up on the wall. And then I'm going to just freestyle it. I don't really know. I'm waiting until the weekend with CJ's off because it has to be, like, mounted into the wall. So I'm going to wait because me with a drill, I've been to knock down the whole freaking wall. 
and it's so crazy because as soon as I got this in the mail I text Lex and I told her thank you and then I called my mama and I was like mom oh my god it's so beautiful but I think I should get like I think I should get like a pink one as well that says like babe cave and my mom was like okay just get it and then let me know how much it is and then I'll pay for it for you and I was like no mom it's okay I'm gonna pay for it I'm gonna pay for it I checked my email last night how about I have a brand collab with a Nia Mike sign company and they want to send me a custom sign do y'all see how God be coming through like what so i put in the order it says babe cave and i am still like debating between like the warm yellow like this and just a pink one i think we'll probably just do pink just to let it like stand out because everything else is going to be super neutral so we'll let that one stand, stand out but i'm so excited y'all i'm just so excited but it is 112 and i'm about to go ahead downstairs take me a shower and iron my husband work clothes and i'll probably pack his lunch too because CJ has a job where he can kind of make his own schedule so he can go 6 to 2, 7 to 3, 8 to 4, or 9 to 5. And he's been choosing to do 6 to 2 so he can, he can get off a little bit earlier. And I know he's going at 6 in the morning because tomorrow afternoon when he gets off we got some business to go handle. Which I'm going to bring y'all with us. But we just got a few little errands, a little running around to do, not too much. But yeah, let's head downstairs and I just can't get over how beautiful this is. Alexis, babe, I know you're watching, and I just want to say thank you for being you. Thank you for being so authentic and so genuine. Y'all, I invited Lex over to the babe cave so that we can do a sit-down video. It was our first time ever meeting in person. We've always lived, like, in the same city, but we've never, like, known each other. And I invited her over. We did, like, you know, a video because Lex is also in her content bag. And it was nothing but a cool vibe. She's also a young mom, wife, and she's also a veteran. So thank you, Miss Lex, for your service, bestie. And... Thank you for being you. Thank you for just being genuine because as I talk about all the time, I'll meet y'all down there. <laughs> morning besties it's the next morning y'all it is 7 59 so we just got up i just took coco in the garage i'm feeding her and then i'm gonna let her go outside and then me and the boys gonna do our little morning time routine real quick um yeah i'm so freaking tired y'all i didn't go to bed till like 3 37 by the time i went to bed my husband was getting ready to go get up and go to work i have to start prioritizing going to bed early but it's just like I be having so much stuff to do, so much work to do, collabs and stuff like that. But I really got to start prioritizing me and sleep. Try to cut that down. But yeah. Let me go in this garage and check on Coco. What? What? Communicate that you want cookies. I don't know what screaming and, and, and me. Say, mommy, I want a cookie. Okay. You can have one after breakfast. Come here. Lay down. All right. Hey, bestie girls. It's a little later. I haven't talked to y'all since this morning. My stepdad ended up coming over. He had wanted to come see the house. He hadn't been there since closing day. And so he came by. And baby, the simple threat of I'm going to stop by is enough to make me deep clean my house in 10 freaking minutes. So he stayed for like an hour and a half. And then once he left, I cleaned up. Like I cleaned the floors and stuff. Because Coco paul's head was filthy i put the boys down for a nap and then yeah so i have not told you guys yet but i decided to go ahead and get me a new car because i figured girl i work hard every day like i work hard every day i'm gonna get me a car so y'all know on my vision board i have put i wanted my glc 300 but financially i told y'all right now the one that i wanted like the fully loaded 2024 is not it's not like it's i can afford it but it just wasn't like it wasn't the most financially savvy thing to do so what i decided to do was get a c300 and so my brother-in-law found me one y'all and it is blue it is so freaking beautiful i was looking at a white one like in montgomery but i did not love it it didn't have an amg kit on it it the wheels was i didn't love the wheels i just didn't love the car so this one i love y'all i love the color i love everything it has the amg kit ambient lighting it has the big screen um just all of the things that the glc 300 had just in a car version and for a lot less money so i 
went ahead and I did all of my paperwork for it. Thank you. I did all of my paperwork and I was supposed to pick it up today. So it's used. Um, however, they haven't put it through the Mercedes-Benz um, certified pre-owned check thing yet. And so I guess they had just got it. like, And they went ahead and put it on the website and I done bought it. And basically it wasn't done. So as they were doing, like going through the little certified pre-check thing, they noticed like something needed to be replaced. And so that part, they cannot get the part till the morning. And so they told me to look to pick it up tomorrow around 4.30. So CJ gonna get off at like two. We gonna hit the road. It's an hour and 45 minutes away. So we gonna drive up there and I'm gonna get it. I already did all my paperwork. I got my everything. Like I got my payment amount. Um, I didn't have to put anything down. I could have, but I, I mean, I could, if I would have put five thousand down, it was only gonna take like a hundred and twenty, a hundred and twelve dollars or something of, of that nature off of my car note. So I was like, I'm not, I'm not even like it is what it is. I'm just pay for it, you know. Um, can I please get over, sir? Like you're being ridiculous. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and get it. I already did all of my trade-in paperwork as well. We just kind of did everything virtually, so I just had to send them pictures of everything. So everything is ready to go. Um, since I wasn't able to pick it up today, I was gonna have to put a deposit down in order for them to mark it as like pending sale or sold. So I had to end up sending them a deposit. So I had to send them a thousand dollars to hold it, and then I get my thousand dollars back tomorrow. But yeah, so we're gonna go up there tomorrow, pick up the car. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited because I was literally like, I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm just not getting a new car right now because I'm tired of looking. Like literally, I was freaking tired of looking, y'all. I hate the way my hair looks. It looks like a wig. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't like it. It's an Amazon wig. It's a little random collab I had got. And that's why I really don't like doing Amazon collabs because like the some of the wigs, unless it's from like, uh, just a good seller like Miss Flowers or I see hair or something, the wig just gives wig. Like no matter how much you tweak it, it still just kind of gives wig. But whatever. Back to the topic. I just had went ahead and decided that I was gonna go ahead and treat myself and get in the car. And uh, people in the like was in my comments and stuff, and I was kind of saying like, oh my god, you literally drive a new Honda. That's my dream car. You're being ungrateful. Don't tell me that I'm being ungrateful. And don't tell me that I'm being ungrateful because I'm I've never been I y'all I have never kept a car for more than two two years, like two and a half years. And so I was actually looking into leasing because I'm just I get tired of stuff so fast. And if I'm gonna pay, I wanna drive something that I like. And yeah, people was like, You're being ungrateful, you literally have a brand new car, there's nothing wrong with your car. Um girl, bye, don't don't tell me that I'm being ungrateful. I feel like if I gotta pay, I'm gonna have what I want. So, that's just that on that. So, yeah. With that being said, tomorrow we're gonna get us a new car. And I'm excited. I had ordered me a camera mount. So, hopefully, you know, everything is everything with that. The only thing about it, um, I did not go and like, what was that? Put the boys' car seats and stuff in prior to you know deciding like this is the car I'm gonna get so I'm just hoping and praying the back seat is spacious and that I don't have to get there and cancel the sale <laughs> but yeah I was debating between the C300 and then a Tesla Model Y because if you've been here for a while then you know that me and my husband wanted to test drove a Tesla Model Y a couple months ago when we still lived in California and I loved it I loved it but in California, it's so easy to go buy a Tesla. You can just go to Tesla, buy you a Tesla, use whatever you want, long range, whatever, nice wheels. They had like tons of options. In Alabama, Teslas are not that common, so the options are just slim. Like we had one to go look at one Tesla, and online they beefed it up, make it look so good. When we got there, it was dingy, it had scratches on it, like it just was not giving nothing. So, um, then my brother-in-law ended up finding me this C300 because it's in Tuscaloosa, so close to his house. So he ended up finding me this C300 and I was like, this is the one. I'm getting it. I'm getting this one. And yeah, so that was that. And then the other, the, in the last vlog, I told y'all the little noise that my car was making had like 
intensified so much and when my stepdad had came over I was telling him about it because my stepdad he like you know he know all about cars and stuff and um he was telling me that another um somebody he worked with or something was having like basically the same problems that I'm explaining y'all and it was her transmission and then somebody in my comments literally said uh they had the same noise going on with their new Honda Accord and it was the transmission I don't know if that's what's wrong with my car I do not know I'm not finna check it's still drive and the noise it hasn't been making a noise today so you know hopefully it don't start making that noise tomorrow when I take it up here I just want to get rid of this cuz no I'm headed to my mom's house right now I had bought us some stuff from TikTok shop and I had just got everything shipped to her house because um, when I tried to order it to my house on TikTok shop, it said that my address wasn't a real address. Like, I'm still having that issue. So, I just ordered everything to my mom's house. So, I'm going over here to pick it up. So, I ended up getting, like, a little digital camera. I got us some of this fancy laundry detergent. Um, there's a brand on Amazon. It's called Tyler, Tyler Diva Laundry Detergent. And me and my mom used to be in love with it, y'all. It smells so good. We used to wash all of our, like, bedding and stuff in it. But this put me in the mind of Tyler Diva. It's called, like, Luxury something i'll show y'all later but i was like mama i'm gonna buy some of this so we can see how we like it and i got myself the baccarat scented one and i got her uh i can't think of the name but i had got you know just some little stuff okay these folks is driving crazy like bro and then yeah i also had ordered a cup from the tiktok shop and the cup was actually free. Everything was basically free, pretty much, because I had points I could use to redeem. And so I got the cup I'm giving give it to my grandma, because I don't know why all of a sudden she like, a cup, girly. So I'm giving a cup to my grandma, and then I got some room spray as well. So I'm excited, but I'm going to my mom's to pick it up. Hopefully my brother is here, because I do not have a key. I don't have a key, so hopefully my brother here, and he can let me in. So... Yeah, I lost my key to my mama house and I just never got another one. So, yeah. This Tahoe is nice. I was thinking about getting a, ooh. I was thinking about getting me a Tahoe, but I just figured that's too big for me. Like, I don't, I don't know. They are super nice, but like, uh, a Tahoe, those are just so large. Like, what? Mm -mm, too much, so, yeah, but. I'm going to hit y'all up when I get to my mom's. Alright y'all, I made it to my mom's. I picked up my packages. And now I'm up the street from my mama's house. Is this little place called Nail Tech? They do the best brows. The lady named Julia and she the only person who do me and my mom my sister brows around here. So I'm going to go get my brows done real quick. And then we're going to run to Walmart. So. Y'all, I just love how to Walmart because y'all nephews was on my head. We ain't had no snacks and no apple juice at home. And they have been on me so i ran to walmart just to pick up a couple boxes of snacks some juice little this little that 78 dollars and 61 cent if you have base access or if you know somebody who can take you to the commissary on base utilize that because this trip probably would have cost me 40 50 dollars max on base that's why i don't do no big grocery trips trips at like walmart and nothing like that i go to base we still get base access which i'm super thankful for because who can be shopping at Walmart? And I used to always buy these from Walmart. First thing I noticed, the packaging to change. And why they don't taste the same? Not the same texture, not the same nothing. Ooh, this man look at all up in my car. And you need to go. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready to head to the YMCA because CJ and the kids up there and I gotta pick the kids up because CJ finna play basketball. So, yeah, let's go get y'all nephews. Hi, bestie girls. I'm at home. Show y'all what I got from the TikTok shop. So I had to get everything shipped to my mom's because whenever I get ready to order packages, it'll say this is not a real address. And the people at USPS told me it's basically because my address is still so new. It just doesn't register on some website. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Like I was just able to order the boys some stuff from Hibis and from Old Navy with no problem with TikTok shop, some Amazon stuff. It don't be shipping here. Like if it's shipping sold by like anybody other than Amazon, it don't ship here. So it is what it is. 
first thing I got is this viral perfume that everybody keeps talking about. It's called Yara, I think. I think this is... Two, can you cut that down? I think it's one of those, like, Arabian perfumes. So, let's do a little first impression. If you're not new here and you've been here since Japan days, then you know I used to do this thing called scent of the month where we get a new perfume every single month and i'm gonna start back doing that because that's a great way to grow your perfume collection so i'm gonna start back doing that oh this is a, such a big bottle and it's pretty look at that in the cut with my twin we be vibing how you do it let's see oh Ooh. the girlies ain't never told a lie oh that smell good y'all oh my god oh it's so sweet oh yeah you the one, not the two, baby. You smell good. Oh, oh, that smell good. Oh, I'm gonna leave this out. I'm gonna let my mama smell this. See if she want one. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, let me open up my second package from them. Because, yeah. Second thing I got is this little digital camera. I love when I go to my grandma's house. You know, on like the old time pictures, it have like the date, the time and all of that. The reviews, people had that little time stamp and date stamp on their pictures. And this little camera was only like $20, I think. And I had a TikTok shop coupon for 17, so I paid like $3 for it. And so I was like, you know, what can I, like, you know. It, it's small, it's super quaint, it's pink. So I'm gonna charge it so we can test it out. And I think it makes like very like old school aesthetic photos, like kind of like the, um, what it is, like VHS looking pictures. I think I'm saying that right, I might not be, but I don't know. I'm gonna pop the little battery in here. I mean, like I said, it was $3. So if it worked, good, and if not, it is what it is. It was three bucks. <laughs> but I just want to take more pictures of me and, or of us, the kids, you know, with like a little time step on it. Because CJ got pictures like that. I got pictures like that. And I want the boys to have that too. Let me push the little memory card in here. See if we can cut it on. Oh, it's coming on. It's, it's singing. It make a little noise when it come on. Oh, that's cute, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, say cheese. cheese. Say cheese. Y'all hug each other. Cheese. Oh, my goodness. Let me try. Uh-uh, nah. Ain't no let me try. You can see. I can't let you break it. It wasn't that but $3, man. Hold on. I got to figure out how to get back to oh the picture. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait. Let me figure out how to use it. Okay, I don't know how to get back to it. Okay, y'all, and from the brand Mav Wicks Fragrance, I got this laundry detergent. It's luxury and modern, so it's supposed to be two tablespoons per load. And this is the Enchanted Rouge scent. It's supposed to be like scented like Backrit Rock, Backrit, the perfume Backrit. Oh, that smell good. Mm. I like this. And then I also got a room spray from them and I got the creamy vanilla. So let's spray this and see what it's here for. Ooh. It smells good, but I didn't spray too much. It's so potent, y'all. Damn, all you need is a spritz. What's with, oh, that smells so good. Mmm, I like that. Hey, bestie, y'all nuts. Y'all, it's later, later, later. And I feel like my hair been looking ugly this entire freaking vlog because I had to do a wig promo for Amazon week. And I told y'all, I hate when a wig just look like a wig. Like, why do it look like I'm finna go start a Tyler Perry movie? I couldn't wait to get home and take that wig off, baby. I really ain't even want to wear it out. But okay, I just did my hair this week by Curly Me Hair. I love they wigs. Like, Curly me, I see Eunice. They wigs are good, but they need to work on their cap size because it's not no one size fits all. Like some people got small heads, some people got extra large heads. So I feel like you gotta perfect that before you try to, you know. Yeah. But when it comes to it, curly me, I see OQ hair. And what's the other company? Um 
I can't even think. Oh, my pretty. Oh, my pretty girl. They be eating the girls up. Them definitely my top four. If you're looking to a glueless wig, I would definitely recommend one of them companies because I just love when a wig just give like fresh install. Not Tyler Perry. I don't want to look like I'm wearing a wig. I tried to finesse that little brown wig left, right, up, and down. I just could not get it right. It's not a beginner friendly because if you like me and you like not a professional, it's going to look ugly. Like that wig, it wouldn't, it was, it, I, it was all right, but it just wasn't it for me. Like this is it. Like this is what I like to see. But I'm gonna take this off and I'll put a I'm gonna put on a little bust down because as I told y'all I pick up my car tomorrow. So I'm gonna look cute because I already talked to my salesman. I want a bow, I wanna have a little photo shoot, I want to do it up because it's something that I really want. I'm spoiling myself. Child, who am I getting? Who are you getting, Zarya? CJ spoiling you once again. But I'm just to feel like some like i'm spoiling myself as well <laughs> and yeah i didn't even get to call my grandma today and tell her that i had found a car because i told y'all that she had wanted to ride to georgia and see if we could find something but i didn't even get to tell my granny that i found something so i'm gonna make sure i call her in the morning and tell her and yes and i got a, that yara perfume y'all oh it smells so good i literally let my mama smell it and she's so peculiar and particular about her scents that she wear and she was in love and i was like yeah i ordered two more i ordered one for my grandma and one for my mom and they should be here i think it said on tuesday so today is thursday and yes yes i love my girlies and i'm trying to plan another perfume party for me and my family so i need to text the family manager nicole so we can get on that because i really i loved it i loved the vibes i loved everything about it so yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna go ahead and put on my picking up my car wig and we finna take a shower oh no i still got a base cocoa this girl pause is nasty i got a base cocoa take a shower and then i and my husband work clothes so Hey besties, it's the next day y'all. This morning my mom, can y'all stop? My mom came over because I just wasn't feeling the best. Just feeling super overstimulated so she came and washed the boys so I could clean up and stuff. And now it's about time to head up to get my car. It's an hour and a half away so we gotta leave now before the traffic because if the traffic hit we not gonna make it in time. So. Well, hold up, Let's go. <laughs> okay, y'all. My new new. She's so cute. I love her. I love the blue. Obsessed with everything. And then I had to tell everybody I was a content creator because they was looking at my paperwork. Like, can y'all please not look me up? All right, y'all. Just cleaned the Honda Cat out, babe. And look at my seats in the back. Terrible. Lord, for the next travel, the next purchase who buy this car, I pray that you keep them protected, Lord. Protect them, protect their family from all hurt, harm, and danger, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And that's a wrap for the Hunter Cat, boo. We finna hit the road, though, because traffic and on, um, but we gotta go. Y'all know I had to come right and get me a car. Babe! Come right and get me a car wash membership. Her first wash. Oh, I gotta name her. So what? Anything you want. Y'all look, I did I came to my mama job and first thing she said, what you say, mom? Try please. <laughs> oh so we oh, it's cute, it's cute. Woo. Good morning, bestie girls. So it is Friday morning. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Just another beautiful day. And so yeah, so basically yesterday, y'all, I went to pick up my new car. The car was an hour and 45 minutes away. So yeah, I had bought it already. And then I just had to go take my trade and sign a few documents. Everything was basically, I was basically able to do everything like from my bed, but a few things required like a wet signature. So had to do that in person. So went and got my car, got home, put the boys in the bed. Then I went to my mama job so she could see my car. And then I came home, took a shower, went to bed. So today, Friday, we need to go to Costco. We need to go to the commissary and we need to go shopping. 
for the boys Easter baskets because it's Friday, Easter, Sunday, and I literally, I, only thing that got is the outfit. And barely that, cause the shoes for the outfit don't even fit. So <laughs> we gotta get ourselves together. But yeah, y'all. Um, once I posted my little day in the life, everybody was asking for like a little car tour. So I'll probably incorporate that in this vlog. Yes, baby. Also, I have to, um, here, baby. I definitely got to get me some more allergy pills, y'all, because my allergies act up so freaking bad. Like, it's finna drive me crazy. Okay, baby. But yeah, my grandparents about to get ready to come over because my, my grandma want me to do her hair. And so... Yeah, I'm gonna, um, here. She got a wig. She want me to put it on her, so I'm gonna try to see what I can do. <coughs> I'm gonna see what I can do for her. Try a little bit later. Hi, bestie girls. So, y'all, my husband and me got paid today, so I needed to go to the bank, and I hate keeping, like, a bunch of money in my checking account, so I need to just move some things around, take some stuff out and pay some bills so i went to the bank and i'm upstairs me and the boys was upstairs y'all and i had music playing we was dancing and my husband called me he was like babe you must um you, you must didn't want to let my mama in i'm like what what are you talking about he was like you know my mom been at the door for like three minutes ringing the doorbell child we was upstairs jamming out ain't heard nothing so my mother-in-law and cj's grandma came over and I told them that we was going to go to the bank. And I was like, girl, please take them children's shoes off. You go handle your business. And we're going to keep these children till you get back. I just love my village, baby. Like, I just love it. Because Lord knows I did not want to take Carter and Kay with me. Because I bank with Navy Federal. And Navy Federal in the next city over. And it's that city is hood, baby. So I do not be liking to take my kids over there if I don't have to. And my husband was still at work, so I was just gonna have to go to the bank, just me and the boys. Getting them out, putting them in, baby. I be having anxiety. So the boys stayed home with their grandma. I went to the bank. I got to listen to all of my bad music with the cuss words in it up loud. And I just think my car fits me so well. So many people keep saying like, congratulations on your new truck. I did not get the truck because in my last vlog, I don't know if y'all remember, but I told y'all it was not um like a financially smart thing for me to do because I didn't want to be paying no $1,500 car note. Like, that's just crazy. So I actually ended up getting a C300 because to me, in my opinion, the only difference between the GLC 300 and the C300 is literally one's a truck, like one's marketed as like a truck and one is a car. Like, as far as the space, honestly, I think the space is about the same because if you know, you know, the little Mercedes SUVs are small. And so, yeah, I am I love my car, y'all. It's blue, just like my husband's um, truck. So, little, be, little blue and big blue, baby. I love it. Like, I love it. And I'm just completely satisfied with my purchase. Like, I don't have any regrets. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to give you all the car tour later. But I went to the bank and I just got back home. I had one to pick up some Little Caesars for lunch for the boys and Granny and Nana if they want some. And then um, once my husband get home, my husband actually about to go get my tag because I need a tag. I hate having a paper tag. I don't know. I be wanting my tag next day. So he's going to go pick up my tag and then um, I'm going to go out to some stores because i need to do the boys easter baskets because easter is sunday it's friday like i haven't done nothing but i'm gonna do that oh also their grandma brought them some easter baskets over y'all my baby's so spoiled but yeah i'm gonna hit y'all up when i get home hey besties so i just came from the probate office had met my husband there got my tag so now i realize that i need to do my budget cash stuffing before i run out and run my errands because i need to make sure i'm spending out of the right category really quick i'm gonna recount my money it's supposed to be 550 but i gotta make sure y'all always be asking for budgeting content on tiktok as well so i got my little book i got my money and i also got y'all on tiktok right here so that i can show y'all what i be doing but our first category is housing maybe i can see that that's my old debit card in there literally don't mind that but first category is housing this category is getting 
$50. So this is for laundry detergent, washing powder, all that type stuff. It's getting $50. So basically anything over, um, it shouldn't be no over because that's why you budget, you know. So yeah, the only thing I need is paper towels, laundry detergent, and then I'm just going to spend an extra on like some multi-surface cleaners and stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, shouldn't be any overage because that's why you budget. So we're going to put that in housing. Personal, this is for like diapers and whatnot for baby Kate. I'm, I'm actually potty training him right now. So we have a box of diapers. I have pull-ups and I have wipes, but I'm still going to give it $40 just in case I need to get some extra. I always like to just have the money there in case I need it. So the next category, um, make sure... People on TikTok see next category is mom. And so for my allowance, as some people like to call it, I'm getting $60. So a lot of people be like, oh my God, only $60. And I done told y'all this before. Yes, I get 60, my husband gets 60, and the kids get 40 a piece. And I feel like, yes, could I give everybody $200? yes do i need to no so what i do is all of our extra i just put it into a savings account or whatever kind of whatever we're doing at the moment right now we're not doing any high earned interest accounts right now we just have everything in our regular savings account because it was not the time to be moving no money babe we had a lot of stuff to buy but yeah so i just keeping i'm keeping all of our extra in our regular savings account and we are getting six zero 60 people be like well how are you doing target runs and how are you doing this a use target circle because they have amazing coupons b when i go to target i'm literally pulling out the envelopes if the boys are getting like a toy it comes out of their envelope if i'm getting something it comes out of my envelope and then whatever money i make like throughout the pay period gap from paypal now i have two big sources of income which would be youtube and then the agency or ugc agency that i work for um so on average a month those make me around 35 ish hundred dollars a month ish it give or take so those two are just my income that i count for our budget to go right into savings and anything extra i make from like wig collabs usually on average a month i get about 15 wig collabs and just say each wig collab is worth 175 dollars but whatever extra i get if we want something extra like if we want to go out to dinner we don't have any more eating out money i'll use that if gas is over is budget we'll use that so typically we never bother our actual savings if that makes sense hopefully i don't know y'all next category is boys so boys actually had got a little advanced because they had wanted some toys the other day but they didn't have they had the money in their envelope but i didn't have the budget binder so i had already gave them 40 dollars and they spent 20 a piece so i'm just going to give them 40 this time so it's going to go it's going to go right into their little envelope and i actually need to clean the envelopes out baby we got receipts and all kind of stuff so stick that in the boys envelope and then we have dad usually my husband likes to put his in the bank in his little um personal checking account because he likes to do like sports betting and stuff so i'm not even gonna fill his i'm just gonna set his to the side and then he'll probably put it on his car i don't know um then we have vacation i actually need to start back putting money in vacation because we're going to the bahamas in november and what i like to do any like extra 25 dollars every pay period starts to add up really 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 quickly so just stuffing 25 dollars in here all the way up until november we'll have a nice little amount of spending money that we don't even have to worry about once we actually are on vacation um next category is gas gas i'm gonna give gas a little bit extra because i got a new car and it uses 93 and then cj got a truck now and it eats up gas like a monster so i'm gonna give it i usually give gas 150 but i'm gonna give it 200 and just see how we do off this 200 if we don't need the whole 200 cool i'll stick with 150 but if we need it then i'll start allotting the extra 50 dollars every pay period for gas so we're gonna give it like i said 200 so oh everybody's calling me okay y'all i had stopped by kirkland's why is this picture 349 this is why i shop on amazon because y'all know i love a good abstract but no ma'am that's too much all right y'all i have made it to target i'm literally trying to park and there's like a million and three people out and it's really giving crazy but i'm gonna go on target so i was gonna vlog in tj maxx but child 
my mom called me and her and my brother they just really going at it y'all and my brother is 19 yeah night is he not he 18 he's gonna be 19 next month and it's just kind of like the same you know how teenagers be when they still live with their parents or whatever and he want to stay out late but he live with my mom and she you know not going for it and i told him like it was the same way with me honestly and the only problem or the only solution to the problem is to leave like if you want to be like do grown people stuff and stay out don't have any rules you got to do grown people stuff and get your own place to stay so my brother was like cool you know he got a full-time job he has a good job and it was like i'm just giving me my own place to stay and then my mom called me and was like sorry am i wrong and i told her like mom you are really hard on him like at the end of the day like the same thing that you did to me is the same thing you did to him a strict parent is gonna make a sneaky child so and them just the vibes so yeah i was like mom you can't like you're just being hard on him i can't tell you that you're wrong because that's your house and if you just told him don't come in at a certain time he need to respect that but at the same time like you need to loosen the grip just a little bit and so my brother was like z i'm gonna get me a hotel room for the night i'm not going home I'm like why would you get a hotel room you can just come to my guest room don't play with me but the whole time I was in TJ Maxx, I was on the phone with my mom, but I found some super cute stuff in there and I cannot wait to show y'all what I got. But y'all just seen a girl walking in Target and she had her camera and like not in my little city, not another content creator. Ah! How the, how the hell I close the sunroof? No? Um, I don't know y'all. Okay, that definitely didn't close it. That opened it all the way. How the freak do I do this? Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't know how to work this car, baby. Let's, um, we finna go in Target. Y'all, so my car got an app, and it's kinda like the Tesla thing, like you can start it and everything from your phone, so I've been just starting it from my app. Why I left home with no keys? I literally left home with no keys, y'all. Thankfully, I had the spare key still in my purse from yesterday. I'm looking all around. I can't find my keys keys with my house key and everything on it. Thankfully, I still had this because I don't even know. I don't think it worked without a key fob. Like, to use the app, you still need a key fob. I would have drove all the way up here and then been stranded. That would have been terrible. But let's go. Chill, I'm going to try to do right and start parking in the back. So don't nobody hit little blue. But baby, I don't like parking in the back of the parking lot. Too far away. Obviously, the first step was actually finding the basket, which I got baskets. Now we need fillers. I don't know. Just leave it. Why is this ten dollars? Glad they, I'm glad they basket small. I ain't gotta get them real big and too much of nothing. Let me put this down on the toy out, baby. Choices were definitely made. Like if this was pink, I would definitely feel like I needed it, but it's white, so I don't feel like that. So back where I found you. <laughs> if this is a water table this is a i don't know something and then we're gonna do that little baskets and i'm gonna go for right, y'all i really want me a new doormat but i don't know they just not giving me cute like i need to get on etsy and order a custom one because that's the only way i'm gonna get what i want and look at my baby it's definitely giving christmas and not easter and my house is already full of toys but i just keep buying more and then throwing them in the trash very toxic but it's okay it's okay like, this is cute but it's also thirty dollars i don't want to pay thirty dollars so i'm not going to <laughs> let's see it's like this one is so big and so cute how much is it 20. i don't know though if i love it come in or not yeah it's giving just get on etsy because <laughs> i just don't love them i don't know they have spend 50 get your 15 dollars back so i'm gonna go ahead and get my little laundry stuff right quick <laughs> okay besties i had to pull over and check on y'all because i was driving and i done threw y'all off the dang gone thing like girl you need to get it together and y'all moving again i'm gonna take y'all off because y'all i can't afford to tell y'all up like i can't <laughs> oh okay but i'm finna head home y'all so oh god oh 
Okay, I gotta get y'all down. See, y'all up there showing out. Why y'all even moving like this? Sit down. Put y'all see butt on and sit down somewhere. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. But, yeah. I love this song by BT, YTB Fat. I love it. Oh. Alright y'all, we need some grass seeds and then like a fertilizer to then fertilize what? this grass. And so we have um, some weed killer. Some weed lawn. killer. Uh-huh. And a seed spreader. Look, Kate. Uh -huh. You all like it? I tell y'all the pollen beat me down today. It is Saturday night and from the time we got up, we went straight outside. We started picking the weeds because we have so many weeds y'all wild weeds it's insane and picking the weeds and cutting the grass and just doing all the outdoor things clearly i'm paying for it like i took them lashes off everything we're going bare face babe because i'm so my eyes itchy my ears itchy throat itchy everything is itchy but we ended up going to get some stuff to kill the weeds we got some grass seeds we got a grass like a seed feeder thing we got fertilizer i'm just trying to get my grass super green and i'm tired of the hoa harassing me about my grass being dead so and it's not my fault y'all just gave me the grass a couple months ago but i'm about to get it together so went to target got a few things and i still got to give y'all a little tj maxx haul from yesterday and we got to put the boys easter baskets easter baskets together i have to do my hair for easter and then i have to also finish editing this vlog and i got to get up early because tomorrow's easter and i got to fix carter hair so we got a lot to do but before we do anything i'm gonna relax it's day one of my period i'm super just all over the place i don't feel good got some bumps going on right there and y'all know i don't like no breakout i don't like no i hate it i hate it but i'm gonna get myself together y'all let's get in the shower let's do our little nighttime routine hey, mommy say what's on your mind i'ma call away mommy come and rescue me Whoa. take me out the club take me out the trap Take me off the mark, take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group. All right, besties, it is literally 2.25 in the morning, and I just finished editing all the previous clips of this vlog. I love y'all real bad. That is why I prioritize staying up late and getting out content for y'all. But I just finished, and it's Easter morning. So, Avi, I decided that I just wanted to do a water table and fill the water table with all the little gifts. But then once I got CJ to put the water table together, that is when I discovered I did not have enough room in the thing, like in the little table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to finesse all this little stuff into the baskets. Cause the baskets are small, y'all. I went shopping Friday, all the big pretty baskets was gone. And then I even got Coco some stuff. If y'all can see it back there, I got her some toys and a brush, some detanglers, some treats. But yeah, like literally, I don't know what we finna make of this, but we gonna make some shake. And then that dual twister thing right there, I think they really gonna like that because we have bought a sprinkler system today and they loved just running through it. So just imagine hooking this up to the water hose and letting them spin around on it. I think they gonna love it. And we used to have a water table back when we lived in Japan and they loved their water table so I'm super excited to set up everything I'm just such a mom I already told y'all that I did not feel good and ain't nothing changed child I still don't feel good I literally look insane like I've been scratching my eyes so much that my face is sore my nose is runny look at that my nose is just running <clears throat> these allergies whooping me down but Ooh, baby, no, my kids go have some Easter magic in the morning. These baskets are so frail, like Target, do better. Let's see what we can make out of this, child. Of course, I had to get y'all niece Coco some stuff too. I didn't even get to finish making Coco Basket because when I went to Target and I got my $15 coupon, I was going to use the $15 for Coco stuff, but I had like $30 worth of stuff, so I was going to use the coupon for half, and then with the other half, I was just going to pay in cash. So the girl rings it up, and then her system, her 
her register crashes and so when it does that she's already throwing my gift card away she got it back all the way out she can't find it so she's like just go to get services i go to get services they like where's your receipt i'm like she didn't give me my receipt the girl was like well just check your app well i didn't have any service in the store so i couldn't pull up my receipt and they would not give me my gift card and i was so freaking just pissed i was like just keep everything i had got her some cookies um a little like bow tie type looking thing i had got her a new brush because like she need like um i got her this brush from tj maxx it's a, sl a slicker brush because this just helps them not be mad at but i had got her like another brush as well and then i had got her some new shampoo some new toys i had got her like it's called a cone ball and you can kind of like put whipped cream or peanut butter inside and i had got her some doggy peanut butter as well and i just had to leave it all because they was tripping so i didn't even finish get i didn't even get to finish getting all of coco's stuff which makes me a little bit sad but i did get her this brush and then i got her this it's chi for dogs and it's a bath spray a waterless bath spray so i guess we'll use this in between baths or we're just going to try it out and see how she you know does with it and then i got her a little toy because when i first got her i got her one from tj maxx and it was like it was a pig and she loves it but she didn't chewed it to hell and back so i had picked up her another one and she also likes to use these big plushy toys as pillows whenever she's sleeping she likes to lay on them so of course we could not leave our fur baby out so yeah y'all that's everything everything's everything and i didn't even get, get coco an actual basket and i'm sad about it so yeah and this is all of my little cleaning stuff that I had ended up buying. And yeah, I was a little sad because they was out of some stuff that I really wanted to get. But I wanted to use my whole $50 so I can get my gift card. And I still didn't even end up getting my freaking gift card. So yeah, that sucks. I'm trying a new body wash. I've never smelled this one before. It's white peach and rose milk. It smells really, or rice milk. It smells really good. Of course, I can't even smell it right now because I'm so sick and stuffy. But when I did smell it, it smelled really good. And my mother-in-law put us on this. It's like mini made, but it's spiked. And we got the strawberry daiquiri one, y'all. This is really good. And it's like almost 14%, but it's smooth like juice. And it's good. And I finally got me some scent beads so I can finally fill up my little thing, y'all. And that's just so cute and so aesthetic. I love it. <laughs> bestie lily i'm pretty sure i showed y'all these the other day did i no i think i showed tiktok i'm not sure but she sent me these beautiful jugs from my registry and they're for laundry detergent and it came with two of them and then it also came with a top so cute y'all and i compared these to the little jugs that i got from the target area why are they almost the same amazon really be overcharging the only difference is this is a little bit more fancier and then it came with a pump but we're gonna fill it up i got some stuff to fill these up with so i'm just so excited i love like organization and i just love it y'all even though it's almost three in the morning and i need to go to bed i'm up doing cute things because like this is just so ugh, it's just it i love it good morning besties happy easter so it's easter morning and i have to go ahead in this vlog so that i can start exporting it and uploading it because if you know you know my wi-fi is i just finished cleaning up my room y'all know the morning time vibes smelling good it's clean it's cold in here and y'all this room spray I would not lie to you. I am obsessed with it. The creamy vanilla one, y'all, is tea. Okay? But the boys got up. They opened their Easter baskets. Coco, why is you on my carpet? You very smart. And I know that you know that you're doing wrong. Thank you. The boys got up. They opened their Easter baskets. So we finna get ready to get dressed. We finna go have some family time. And I want to show y'all their little outfits right quick. Because they so cute. And I'm upset that their shoes didn't fit. But you know, it is what it is. So they got these little bow tie bunny shirts, y'all. They just so cute. These came from Old Navy. Old Navy gonna always come through with a little one or two on the holidays. And I think they was like half off. So they probably was like $12 or so, y'all. So cute. And then I just got them some jeans to wear with these. 
I don't know how it's feeling outside today. If it's too hot, I might just switch it to some light blue shorts that match that little bow tie. And yeah, just a simple little one too, but I thought it was so cute. I had went to go to church this morning, but obviously that did not happen. I stayed up too late and I overslept, but that is okay. But yeah, y'all, that's a little fit of the day. Now, as for me, I don't know what I'm gonna wear today, but that is okay. Y'all, I'm obsessed with hair accessories. These are my little hair bands that I got from TJ Maxx the other day. Like, look how cute that is. And then I also got these really cute claw clips. I don't know if y'all been seeing the girlies just with the cute hair accessories, but I am here for it. So cute and dainty and feminine. I love it. And then I also got me some bows. I really wanted me a white one, but I can find a white one. I'm sure y'all been seeing the hairstyles with the bows. So I'm too excited to do my hair today. And then y'all, I also got these and they're gold and they're just super dainty. Is it broken? Oh, it's not broken. Look how cute. And then this one got butterflies in it. I'm obsessed. I love butterflies, y'all. But yeah, I got me some cute little hair accessories. And y'all, that's pretty much it for this um for this vlog. I'm about to get myself together. I put some eye cream on. I put some eye cream on to help with like the puffiness from my allergies or whatever. And so yeah, I put my sunscreen on and I'm finna go do my hair, put my clothes on, and we finna go. So I'll catch up with y'all in the mini day in the life and on Instagram stories today. But for now, your girl is out. Bye besties. Mwah.